Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Mamluks using the new Cradle of Civilization DLC. We are just about to go to war with Kara Koyunlu. So let's go ahead and dig in. Their allies are going to come in to help. We don't really care. Um, it'll, it will move us back towards legalism. That's the only problem with declaring wars. Um, but we'll do what we can. We may end up having to just pick religious ideas or something like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and march in. We do want to take the war goal pretty much as quickly as we can. Um, so that is something that we will do. And then we're going to move in and start taking forts. I can't see where the capital is. Um, oh, there it is. The capital is that one there. So we will move in and start taking forts. Now, we do know that they do have some allies, which is um, Bitlis and Karabakh. They may come in and help them out. Um, if they do, that is probably fine. Um, we should have enough men standing around to be able to do it. There's their army there. They were probably going to try and sneak around behind us. Um, it's not going to happen for them now, unfortunately. So they've made a they've made a massive error in judgment there. Whichever way they go, they're going to get caught. We've squished the one stack, um, and we've defeated that army. Although they're still they're st they still have an army. There's another army there that just appeared out of nowhere that we've just caught quite easily. That is the army of Bitlis. So goodbye, Bitlis army. And we'll use these guys to go around and grab some of these provinces at the back. So I'm hoping this will be a relatively quick war. We could humiliate. It is our rival. Again, I don't want the war to go on too long. We do have a looming disaster. Um, we do have m some manpower issues. As long as we can sort of keep their armies down, it should be fine. There's no point trying to separate piece the buddies out because, of course, they're just vassals. It looks like um, Hejaz is going to do a fantastic job of getting everything done down here. Let's keep you there on the fort, just in case you do have to deal with the Ottomans or anything else. Um, the Armist Estate lose loyalty and the merchants gain, or gain a stability and they gain loyalty. We'll take the free stability, they can gain loyalty. Um, now all of a sudden we've got provinces that we can convert. 256 months, I mean we could convert them but it'll just take forever. Uh, you guys are attempting to do what? I really don't want to let these armies sort of get together. That would be pretty, not disastrous, but it would certainly cause problems for us. So as much as we can, we want to try and block their army off. Um, we want to stop that army from sort of getting all of its troops together. We'll probably go over here and start sieging out this fort very soon. Are you the guy? Is Bobby... Bobby doesn't have the uh, the siege. That's on the other guy. Let's get you over there. Still a lot of Ottoman troops wandering through here, but that should be fine. I think... Oh, what's this we've got? Can use a cultural interaction. Promote a Circassian in government can currently be used. All right, so we have these abilities here. This is a little bit like what the Russians can do. So we can spend 100 administrative culture. Um, so basically for one year, all power costs will be 5% cheaper. That's actually not bad. So that's all power costs. I, I assume that means coring and technology and um, ideas. We probably should wait until we have some to do. We can spend a little bit of Diplo power to get another accepted culture, though. We should definitely do that one. So let's go ahead and, and promote a culture. Uh, but we'll save that interaction. We're not going to use it just now because there's not really an awful lot that I'm going to be spending power on. Obviously, we will be uh, grabbing some provinces soon and spending some admin points to annex, but I think we will wait. I wonder if it makes our integration cheaper as well because that is a power point spend after all. But uh, we'll we'll wait on it. The war is going quite well here. Hajaz are doing a very good job of sort of blocking these guys off. Um, where? Oh, wow. Where did these guys come from? 
These guys just completely snuck in behind me. Well, that's fine. We'll go. To, if if you want to split your army up down here and do a, do a load of sieging, that's fine. Looks like the AI's improved, by the way. Uh, I've noticed here that these guys were all split up into separate armies, and the moment that I've started heading towards them, they've basically just um, all stopped sieging and uh, have merged into one. So that's uh, something that seems to be new with the AI. Um, there are a few guys down here trying to get stuff done. You're just going to go straight across here and march on the capital now. So, not the best battle there. They are throwing extra units in. They're desperately trying to hold off. We did get the win. They've just thrown another two stack at us. That's going to cause some problems. Let's go ahead down here and um, undo that, as it were. So we could go ahead and build one of these supply depots. It has to be an occupied province, but I don't really think we need to. We're not having a lot of supply problems. Gain 10 prestige. Um, this is in Aleppo. Get cheaper development cost but lose some tax. Or we could increase the development cost by 50% for 15 years. Well, we'll do that because I'm not really developing at the moment anyway. I generally don't develop unless um, I've got like lots of spare... Uh, points. Well, there isn't really a lot of it point in doing it always. If, if Hejaz will go and fight these guys, that'd be great. They do have some units around. Let's go ahead if we can and just break off one unit. If you guys can just go and... Oh wow, yeah, we're stuck on the fort, aren't we? So you can't actually do that. That's a bit problematic. Well, we'll do what we can. You guys are probably going to go and try and reinforce, but you do have to go the long way around. But yeah, we need to take the fort back. What is the garrison here? The garrison, the garrison's really low, actually. Can we not just... Um... Oh, we don't have hard artillery here. Cannot assault the fortress without a breach. If we get a breach, we can try and assault it. Because the garrison is really low at the moment. They are sending some more units around, but I think overall we will be okay. We've already got 35% war score. I mean, we could go ahead and just try and uh, make our demand soon. This is going to pop anytime soon. Uh, let's have a quick look at that again. So base is 20%. Control provinces is 40%. Um, Mamluk army... Uh, oh, Mamluk Mears give 10%. So 75, 70. Yeah, nothing's going to go away in time. So how come taking provinces away from them doesn't help? Like, this is, like, Damascus, that's controlled by them. If we went ahead to Damascus and took this away from you, it says it doesn't change their influence. And, of course, that's caused a rebellion, because, of course, it has. So they've revolted. But the, the reason I'm checking is I'm almost convinced... Um... Let's leave that fort for now. Let's go and march on these rebels... I'm not too bothered about the, this little army coming in down here. Um, you're going to come in this side, though. We'll clean these guys up. You guys can manage this on your own. I'm fairly certain of that, with the help of Hajaz. So we need to get rid of you guys. Cyprus have embraced the Rena Renaissance. Well, it'll help, because it'll actually all move in our direction. Okay, you guys are now out. Let's get back down here. So, did that actually reduce their influence? This is what I want to check. Um, no, this so it honestly doesn't have their influence. So, they still get a percentage from controlled provinces. That's very, very interesting that it doesn't allow you to um, reduce their influence. I know that some people, mentioning no names, Mr. Arumba, uh, used to really exploit the mechanic of waiting until a disaster was about to fire and then essentially just um, re revoking a province at the last minute to decrease their loyalty. They used to do it all of the time. Um, Hajaz are actually getting fought down here. That's why they pulled all of their armies back. Um, let's go and march down here and see if we can help them out. We will have to go the long way around, but that is fine. 
But yeah, this disaster's gonna fire any time soon. I don't really have a way of stopping it, to be honest. Austria has embraced the Renaissance, so yeah, it will it will spread our way quite quickly, which is nice. Right, let's get down here and block you guys off, because you only really have one way around. So we're going to do our very best to um, put a stop to that. Meanwhile, if you guys could hurry up and do something there. There we go, we've run into one army. Now they are, well, they were about to reinforce that fight. We're now going to move in and grab that seven stack. Right, their army's now taking an unfortunate beating. Hejaz have managed to get themselves unseaged. Not sure if they have any more armies down there. Now then, you guys survived that battle, but you're heading back inland. So let's go and start moving forwards. And yeah, we probably need to grab this land, really, to stop the uh, Ottomans expanding to the east. Because if we can stop the Ottomans expanding to the east, that means their only option is to expand into Europe. And that makes life a lot more difficult for the Ottomans, if that's their only choice. So you're going to try and get into my land by coming around this way now, are you? That's fine. We will give that consideration. Which way do you think you're going? You're heading up there, are you? Oh, no, you're heading this way, actually. Probably can't easily catch you. But catch you, I will do. Now, where are you heading into? Uh, you're heading there. Not actually stopping for the foot. You're probably just going straight for my capital, aren't you? No, they weren't coming this way for a while. But I'm literally in the province that they're in. Thank you. Like, trying to convince me that I wasn't going to get them. Right, there we go. There's another battle won. They're going to retreat all the way back to their own land. That is fine by me. Still haven't even managed to get a wall breach on their capital yet. Uh, Hajaz are just basically going to go and carpet siege everything, so I don't have to worry about that. They've only got one more fort left after this one, which I'm probably not going to bother with. We don't need 100%. Right, okay, the armies seize power. Here is the event. Um, we lose the stability in 10 legitimacy. Um, and we get a 6-4-3 with a strong claim becoming the ruler. Um, Mamluks get Mam uh, Mamluk Amir dominance until the end of the game. So it increases our, caval uh, increases our infantry cost, increases our cavalry cost, reduces our yearly legitimacy, and our monthly autonomy change goes up. Um, Mamluks will be controlled by the nobility until the curtail the nobility decision is taken. Okay, so we're still at plus one stability. We've actually got a decent leader at the moment. Um, this would... So we have to basically have stability at least one, and their influence has to be lower than 60. And it'll cost us three stability and 25 prestige. I, I'm going to stick with it for now, actually, because it's, it's a pretty good leader, but we can use that. The denounce of sect practices uh, moves us towards legalism, um, but it reduces unrest. So let's go ahead and, and take that one for now. That'll be very, very useful to do. Um, so they've actually changed these negative events, and that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, tax modifier, we need to offset what we've just lost. There's that uh, fort done. Excellent. So we should be able to carry on with this war relatively unhampered at the moment. Hejaz, where has your army disappeared off to? Is it back down here? No, they're not attacking you. Uh, I know what I have forgotten to do, is I have forgot to get my trade fleet trading. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. Let's select a mission. Let's protect trade. Um, both of these are saying it would operate at a loss. Which is interesting. Um, let's send you to Aleppo. Not too sure why that would be a loss, but there we go. Um, we are over our ship limit, apparently. But we can hang around on that. Come on, let me get this uh, siege done. You guys then, for the time being, might as well be drilling. 
I don't think they're going to get any more units around here to attack us. They don't really have much left, to be honest. But yeah, we'll take this province. We'll probably take a couple more. I still want to attack Fazan. We want to attack these guys at some point. Well, we don't want them to lose any more loyalty. We don't want to lose army tradition. So we're getting a little bit of corruption because we can get that paid off. It's not a problem. So are you guys actually... You're going in there to attack, but you're probably going to lose that. Actually, you're not. Ramazan's doing particularly poorly there. Uh, Merchant Guilds loses loyalty and influence. Merchant Guilds gain influence and peasant regiments pop up everywhere. Or we can lose a little bit of money and they gain influence and loyalty. We'll take that option because we've got the money. Uh, lose some admin power or get some regiments rising up in Cairo. Um, again, I think we'll just... Um, oh, it's admin power, isn't it? Do we want to lose the admin power? I don't really. Um, but at the same time, you guys are drilling. Stop drilling. Get over to Cairo. And we'll just see if we can... Uh, we'll see if we can fight that. So you get yourself down there. Get your morale back up. You guys are sort of heading north. I think Hajaz might be able to do something about that. A great advisor has died. Okay, he wasn't a general though. It was our admin person. Um, plus 2% missionary threat. It's a plus 2 guy. We can't afford it. We'll just stick with you for now. Stability modifier guy. We want to wait at least until um, July with you. So we're going to have some problems now. In fact, I think you're going to stop drilling because they are starting to amass a bit of an army that we might need to go and deal with now then. Um, we are still a bit ahead of time here, so we could go ahead and spend this and get the... Um, Moorish Influx plus 5%. Well, oh, negative minus, what's costing us? Moorish Influx, negative 5%. So it makes it a bit cheaper. Uh, but it'll give us um, army tradition. Let's go ahead and start working towards the idea group. Uh, knights are raiding us, which is fine. We are into July. You're still not at full morale. I'm going to risk getting to August. It might pop it automatically for me. Sometimes that's what it does. Uh, we have got that province, which is great. Let's go ahead and march up there. Oh, we are into, well into August. Um, no, but wait, what's your morale on? Almost full. Refuse their demands. There we go. They do have a two-star general, which is a little bit frightening. But we've got some decent rolls, and it looks like we're going to win the battle. Indeed, we have. So you go ahead and go back to drilling now. Okay, so the question is, do we just end this war? We've got 85%. Let's just go ahead and... Now, hang on a minute. How can you not move there? I guess because it's defended by this fort itself. Okay, well, let's have a little look and see what we could take from them if we wanted to. We definitely want this province. I'm guessing we probably can't humiliate them. We can't, could humiliate them and take war reps. And that leaves us a little bit of spare money for a couple more provinces. And then we can take your money from you. And they would accept. Sure. Three provinces, war reparations, and a humiliation against a rival. That's good. So let's bring you back home. You need to stay there because we're going to have rebellions. Um, you can start doing that again. We're still annexing. We've got some coring that we need to do, but we can afford it. So let's go and work on that. Uh, we don't have a mission now. Uh, manpower definitely needs to recover. Protect our brethren in Baghdad. We'll leave the missions for the time being. Because I just want to get everything in order before we do anything else. Um, Masawa, Hamasen. Which ones are these? Down here. So we need we need some troops down there. In which case, then, let's have you guys not drilling and let's get you down here ready to deal with that. Okay, good. Now then, um, you are... You're going to stay there and defend. You guys are going to stop drilling. You're going to move over here. 
And we can hopefully have a quick war against Fazan. Now then, um, you are allied with Tunis. But Tunis is not all that strong. Tunis is also our ally as well. Gain 10 prestige. We could definitely beat Tunis and Fazan. We've got a really good bottleneck against them here as well. Can we actually increase our force limit at all? Yes, by three. Although there probably isn't a lot of point in doing it. Um, I'd sooner give you our better general, actually. Uh, which I believe is Lucas. And then you can go ahead and have Bobby. Uh, send an embassy to Cyprus. Lu uh, the rulers of Cyprus will listen to the demands and install Jax as the rightful king. So we can gain or lose some prestige. Now we'll send the embassy. We'll see if we get something for losing the prestige. Um, Cyprus's opinion of us changes by plus 25. Um, make Cyprus a vassal. Gain 20 prestige. Does that automatically make Cyprus a vassal? Um, no, where is Cyprus? Cyprus is... There's Cyprus. Um, okay, I'm confused as to what has just happened. Cyprus is a vassal of the Mamluks. Okay. Were they not anyway? I can't remember now. We don't have a royal marriage. We can't anyway. Annex Vassal. 76, 30th of March. Yeah, so that literally just made them our vassal. Excellent. Well, that's good. I mean, we're still over the limit of uh, relations, but that is still good. Excellent. Well, we're over the 20-minute mark, so I'm going to end things there. In the next video, we may well go to war with Fazan. We'll see how things work out. So, I hope you're still enjoying EU4. I'll see you next time, and until then, goodbye for now.